Man, what's up with the what's up? It's your boy Tyrone Hunter back in the building with another edition of What's Really Good. If you've been rocking with the channel, well, I appreciate you. Shout out to you. You know I'm going to continue to bring you that fire. If you're just checking in for the first time, hit the like button on the way in the door. Hit the subscribe button on the way out the door so you can join the squad. So as you see by the picture, you know, I, I posted this one um, as my thumbnail because a lot of my supporters said that I look like Plies. Um, you know, shout out to Plies. But you see the title. You know my motto. I'm not going to hold you. Um, today, what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about Young and Ace finally getting his lick back on Julio Fulio, avenging his brother death, a.k.a. his friend, 23, who was killed and Julio Fulio made some videos mocking him. So, this is the story that we're going to be talking about. We're going to be touching light on that as well as we're going to be shedding light on a thing called karma, something that y'all all need to know about. So without further ado, make sure you stay to the end of the video because this one right here is going to be fire. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we're going to get right into it. As the story goes, on June 5th, 2018, Young and Ace found himself at a light following the birthday celebration of his friend, 23. As fate would have it, Young and Ace, 23, and two other individuals were shot. All three individuals would die and Young and Ace, who was shot eight times, would be rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Him being the only survivor in that assassination attempt, could only be one thing, which is God. Julio Fulio, a rival op of Young and Ace, would go on to drop a diss song titled When I See You, mocking 23 who died on his birthday. And to this date, that song has over 46 million views. With lyrics like, went to eat on his birthday, four shot, three dead in the worst way, When I See You, was disrespect on a whole nother level. But then to add insult to injury, Julio Fulio made the diss song at the gravesite of 23 and said he was, quote, smoking 23. Notice had to be crushing and heartbreaking for Young and Ace. But just to show you how karma work, Julio Fulio was shot and killed on a parking lot of June 23rd on his birthday, when four people in total were shot, while only one died, which was him. I mean, think of it. The Young and Ace shooting, four were shot, three killed, one survived, which was Young and Ace. Then to have four people shot, three survived, and only one killed, which is Julio Fulio, was definitely karma. Another interesting fact about the Young and Ace situation was that Young and Ace was 18 at the time of the shooting and was shot eight times. 18 plus eight, if my math served me right, equal 26. Well, didn't Julio Fulio get killed on his 26th birthday? I mean, Young and Ace would go on to drop a song, I was after Julio Fulio died, called Do It which marked the eight-year plot to avenge his friend 23 and his brother's death. Word on the street is a female and Julio Fulio friend dropped his location. Others say Julio Fulio was responsible for dropping his own location. But either way it goes, it seemed that this was definitely karma catching up to Julio Fulio. And it was his day as well as his time to die. It's just too many similarities to the Young and Ace and Julio Fulio shootings. Like, four shooting, one shot, Young and Ace died. I mean, Young and Ace friend 23 died. Julio Fulio gets shot on the 23rd. I mean, that's just crazy. That's, I mean, it's, it's no other way to think about it, but that... You know, that was something that was definitely planned. And that was something that, you know, definitely karma had in store. Now, 
What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go back and I'm going to give you an idea of why Young and Ace felt the way about his friend 23 as well as his two friends getting killed and Julio Fulio here mocking them on the day that they died. That's like nasty, nasty work. Um, it's just some things make sense and some things don't. But who are we to judge? You know, I just report on the story. I'm just giving you an opportunity to find out what's really good. This right here is a photo of Julio Fulio at the grave site. Um, and that's supposed to be a picture of 23 who was allegedly murdered in the incident. Um, and some people say, you know, it was tragic for Julio Fulio to die and get killed the way that he did. While others, a whole lot others are saying that it was wrong of Julio Fulio to diss the dead, to diss young and ace, to go so far as to go to the graveyard to make a video taunting his dead ops. Now, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to say who's right. I'm not here to say who's wrong. But what I will say is the way that Julio Fulio died, and if you look at all of the similarities um, of the shootings, um, the way in which Julio Fulio was killed on the 23rd, you know, on his 26th birthday, young and ace was 18, got shot eight times, which equaled 26. It seemed to me that that math adds up. So what I want to say to everybody out there is, man, if you got ops or you don't got ops, you know, there's a thing called karma. Uh, and karma is something that nobody can escape. I want to say rest in peace to Julio Fulio. Rest in peace to Young and Ace, you know, friends um, and family. Because at the end of the day, there's no winners. And they say that now that Julio Fulio is gone, that this beef is definitely not going to die. But I'll just give you the story. It's up to you to determine what you want to believe. Because at the end of the day, we're just trying to find out what's really good. If you appreciate the content, like the video, share the video, um, and let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this was karma catching up to Julio Fulio? Um, do you think it was incidental by accident that he got caught slipping? Do you think it was something that was meant to happen exactly the way that it did? Or if you just got a general comment, I want you to put that down in the comment box. But um, I'm going to be sure to update you as this story further develops because I'm pretty sure it's going to be some more behind it. Until then, it's your boy, Mr. Tyrone Hunter, a.k.a. Mr. What's Really Good Entertainment. Um, you know, for all of my supporters that think I got that Plies thing going on, man, shout out to my twin Plies. You already know how we do. Um, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Tyrone Hunter, signing off. It's really good, though.